Lasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the use of the WT2080 LED power driver tester. The following is the video catalog. 1. Packing list. 2. Hardware operation. 3. Software operation. 4. Dose and don'ts. The complete test system includes the following equipment. WT2080 LED power driver tester. AC power source, it is used to provide a stable voltage to the LED driver. Lasun has three different models of AC power sources. The operation will be slightly different. DC electronic load, it is used to simulate LED. Please check the packing list with reference to the equipment you purchased when you receive the shipment. This is the WT2080 LED power driver tester and its accessories. Accessories include spare fuses, wires, RS232 communication cable, RS232 USB converter, power cord. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There is software, user manual, operation video and related standards in the CD. Connect the driver and LED to the system if you want to check the working status of the whole luminaire. Connect the driver and the DC load to the system if you only want to check the working status of the driver under a standard load. Connect the power cords of the AC power source and WT2080. Shorten the two black terminals here. Connect the output of the AC power source to the V terminals of WT2080. Connect the two red terminals to the input of the driver. Connect the output of the driver to the DUT terminals. Don't make mistake about the positive and negative connections. Connect the LED load terminals to the LED. Don't make mistake about the positive and negative connections. Make sure the wiring is all correct. Turn on the equipment. Set the voltage and frequency on the AC power source according to the sample. Press the output button. Press load button on WT2080 to power on the driver and the LED. The front panel of WT2080 displays the real-time test parameters. The upper windows are the input parameters of the driver. The lower windows are the output parameters of the driver. After the test, press load to cut off the power supply of the driver. Cut off the output of the AC power source. Then you can replace the sample or turn off the equipment. If you need to connect the DC load, you don't need to connect the LED. Connect the LED load terminals to DC load. Don't make mistake about the positive and negative connections. Other wiring remains the same. For example, if we test this driver, the output voltage is 36 to 42 volts. The output current is 1050 mA. Then we need to set a voltage between 36 and 42 volts. Press VSET twice to set the voltage. Press ENTER to save the settings. Press on OFF button to output the load. Set the voltage and current on the AC power source in the same way and output. Press LOAD to start the test. The output voltage of 40 volts is the voltage that we set on the DC load. You can check whether the output current is the same as the one written on the driver. After the test, press LOAD to cut off the power supply of the driver. Press on OFF button on DC load to cut off the load. Cut off the output of the AC power source. Then you can replace the sample or turn off the equipment. Copy all the files in the CD to the computer. Double click the EXE file to install the software. Connect the WT2080 with computer using the RS232 cable or the RS232 USB converter. If you use the converter, 
you also need to install the driver of the converter. The driver is in the small CD. Enter device manager of the computer. Confirm that which COM port the WT2080 uses. There are only 4 COM ports in the WT2080 software. So you need to right click to change the COM port serial number if it is greater than 4. Complete the wiring. Output the AC power source. Press load to power on the sample. Then open the software. Choose the correct COM port manually. Click the green button. Then the software communicates with WT2080 continuously. And you can see all the parameters on the software. Click the red button to stop the communication. You can also click here to test the input, output, and start parameters separately. You need to reload the sample when the sample is cold if you test the start parameters. Click Preview. Check the parameters that you want to print. Then you can view and print the report. Don't touch the sample and the wiring during the test. Don't make mistake when you connect the output of the driver and the LED or the DC load. When using DC load, the sequence of operations needs to be strictly in according with step 2.2. Thanks for watching.